Hello and welcome to the Consistory of the Kayak YouTube channel. I'm your host for this video, Reverend Jake Zabel, the St. John's Evangelical Lutheran Church located in Dolby, Queensland, Australia. Today's episode is part of our mini-series, Ask the Consistory. This is where we answer questions put forth by viewers concerning the teachings and practices and beliefs of the Confessional Orthodox Evangelical Lutheran Communion, or COALC for short. Now, back in June of 2022, I did this video on the topic of lay reading and lay preaching, and that kind of sparked a bit of a debate online. So this video is addressing the topic of lay lectors because there was a lot of people asking questions concerning lay lectors after watching my video on lay reading and lay preaching. Now, before we start, we need to define what a lay lector is because often people confuse lay lectors and lay readers. So a lay lector is the person that gets up during divine service and reads the Bible lessons for the day, the Old Testament reading, the Epistle reading, and the Gospel reading. This is what a lay lector does. A lay reader is somebody that leads a lay reading service, whether that be kind of the non-communion lay reading service found in many churches like the Missouri Synod or the Lutheran Church of Australia, or a matin service, or a recitation of the catechism found in churches like the Coelk and the Eldona. So a lay Re people often confuse lay readers and lay lectors. They're not the same thing. Lay lay readers are kind of like lay leaders. They lead a service, uh, whereas lay lectors simply read the Bible lessons during the Sunday service. Now, people wanted to know what is the coop position on lay lectors. Would we allow a lay person to get up during the service and read uh, Bible lessons during the service? Now there isn't really much of a definitive answer here. I can, I can give you what will be the co practice, but I, I need to explain the reasoning behind. So the, generally, no, we wouldn't have a lay lector reading Bible lessons on Sunday service. We would restrict that to the office of the ministry. However, the reason for doing that is not the same reason for why we don't have t things like lay preaching. So the Lutherans in the early church made this distinction between reading scripture and preaching and teaching scripture. And so the original Lutherans didn't draw this distinction between reading a sermon written by yourself or reading a sermon pre-prepared by a pastor. If you're reading out a sermon, you're considered to be preaching and teaching from the scriptures. Uh, but the early Lutherans and the early Lutherans as seen in my lay reading, lay preaching video, rejected this practice of lay preaching. Lay people were not to preach and teach in the public setting. Luther expressly condemns this. The Book of Concord in Article 14 of the Augsburg Confession says that nobody should publicly preach or teach or administer the sacraments without being properly called into the office of the ministry. Therefore, a lay person cannot get up and preach and teach. However, when it comes to reading scripture, the Lutherans did make this distinction between reading scripture and preaching scripture. So, for example, the Saxon General Articles, which I mentioned in my video on lay reading and lay preaching, said that in the absence of a pastor, the kuster, that is the lay reader, could get up and read the Bible lessons for the day, but they were forbidden from preaching on the text. So, a kuster in the absence of a pastor, can serve as a lay lector and read the Bible readings for the day. However, they weren't to preach and teach on the scriptures. And this is because the Lutherans made this distinction between simply reading scripture and then preaching and teaching on scripture. When you read scripture, you are just simply allowing God's word to say what God's word said. When you preach and teach on scripture, you are giving an explanation, an interpretation of scripture, and the authority to give that kind of teaching and explanation interpretation is restricted to the office of the ministry. The pastors have been given the authority to explain and teach the scriptures. The pastors have also been given this responsibility to preach and teach the scriptures. The Bible tells us that teachers will be judged twice as harshly in the judgment. So, 
you have to be in the office of the ministry to have this authority and responsibility to teach and explain the scriptures. But anyone can just read the scriptures verbatim because we're just simply reading what God himself said. They are just declaring the word of God. Now this raises then the question about why wouldn't we allow lay lectors during a Sunday service? And so I find this lay lectors is very much a gray area. See, when it comes to lay preaching, I think there is a clear black and white issue here. The Bible and the Book of Concord are very clear that you shouldn't preach and teach unless you are called. So therefore, when it comes to lay preaching, the scriptures and the confessions are clear on this matter. Lay people can't preach and teach in the church. But when it comes to this idea of just simply reading the scriptures, the, the scriptures, the confessions, the historical Lutheran practice, they're not really clear on this matter. Um, the Lutherans, from what I've found, never discuss this topic of a lay person reading the Bible readings during a Sunday service. However, the Saxon general articles did permit a lay person to read the Bible lessons during a lay reading service. So therefore, we can see from this that the Lutherans did not consider a lay person reading the Bible lessons to be in and of itself problematic. So when it came to preaching a sermon, the early Lutherans clearly saw this as something that a lay person should not do. But when it came to reading um, the Bible publicly, the Lutherans didn't have this same issue with it. They didn't declare it as some kind of heterodox or heresy or some kind of sin or problem or error or any of that stuff. So. This is a grey area. Can a lay person get up during the Sunday service and read from the Bible lesson? I mean, we also got to consider the fact that what happens when you have cantors and choirs get up and chant the Psalms during a divine service? Is that not the same thing as a lay lector? Well, essentially, yes. That a, when a lay person is chanting the Psalm, they are chanting God's word. They are essentially reading God's word in a chanted manner. And so, if you have a lay person being the cantor, this would be similar to having a lay lector. And so you see that there is this grey area that the Lutherans never really addressed, at least not that I can find. From looking at church orders, such as the Church Order of Hoya, and looking at the General Saxon uh, articles, you can see that the Lutherans in the early church said that in the absence of a pastor, when there was no pastor around, a lay person could get up and read the Bible readings, but they were not allowed to preach or teach. But they don't really mention what a lay person can do in the presence of a pastor. See, in the absence of a pastor, yet a lay person can get up and do the Bible readings. But in the presence of a pastor, what is a lay person to do? And so I think when it comes to lay preaching and lay reading, I can make that a black and white issue of that is wrong, a lay person should never do it. But when it comes to lay lectors, it's more of this grey issue of kind of uh, not a good practice, but it's not something that can necessarily condemn outright. Yet at the same time, it's not something that I can also approve and permit outright. It's this grey area where I can't give a definitive thumbs up or a definitive thumbs down. It's, it's kind of this grey, muddled up, confusing area, and generally what we should do when it comes to those questions, we err on the side of caution and we do what Luther suggested with things like the Lord's Supper and we don't innovate and we don't introduce things into the church. So in that case, it would be better not to have lay people getting up and doing the Bible readings as long as there are pastor present to do the Bible readings. We shouldn't do things that are going to create confusion or burden people's consciences or bring doubt into their minds. Uh, this also leads to the idea of then what is the responsibility and the authority of a pastor versus the responsibility and authority of a layperson. See, when a pastor is present in the church, he has the authority and the responsibility to read the scriptures, preach and teach on the scriptures, and administer the sacraments. Therefore, the responsibility and the authority to read the Bible lessons on a Sunday service falls first and foremost at the feet of the pastor. He is the one who is responsible to get up and to preach and to teach. Now regarding lay people, when lay people are in the absence of a pastor, then they have this authority and responsibility to get up and read God's word. But when lay people are in the presence of a pastor, 
They have this responsibility and authority to sit and to listen. Therefore, it is more of a sense of good order that lay people shouldn't be lay lectors. They should actually sit down and listen. So, really, to give the Coelk position on lay lectors, uh, when it comes to lay preaching, we would condemn that as a heterodox practice. But when it comes to lay lectors, I wouldn't necessarily feel comfortable condemning it as heterodox, but we would definitely um, not practice it and we would reject it as bad order and uh, not a good practice. Uh, it, it really boils down to what is the problem with a lay person getting up and reading the scriptures in the presence of a pastor. See, when it comes to preaching on the scriptures, the Bible and the confessions are clear that nobody should preach and teach unless they have been called to do so. So, when it comes to lay preaching, if a lay person, a non-called person, gets up and preaches and teaches, they are actually violating the commands of God. But the scriptures, the Lutheran confessions, and the early Lutheran practices didn't condemn a lay person getting up in front of a group of people and reading the scriptures. So therefore, the act of a lay lector reading the scriptures is not in itself a wrong practice. If a lay person gets up and preaches and teaches on scripture, that is a wrong practice, that is an error, that is heterodoxy because they are violating the command of God. But if a lay person, a lay lector, gets up and reads the Bible, that is not inherently bad in and of itself. However, they are essentially either usurping the authority of the pastor or the pastor is delegating his authority to somebody who hasn't been called. And so, while it is not necessary in and of itself bad to have lay lectors, it is definitely bad order, it is bad authority, it is bad practice, and it should not be done. So, that is generally the co-op position when it comes to lay lectors. No, we do not have lay people reading the scriptures during the Sunday service. However, in the absence of a pastor during a lay reading service, whether that be uh, Order of Matins or the recitation of Luther's Catechism, we would permit our coosters or lay readers uh, to get up and read the scriptures to the congregation. But they are not permitted to preach because nobody should publicly preach and teach in the church unless they've been rightly called and ordained. So, I hope that answers the question on this topic of lay lectors. I've been your host, Reverend Jake Zabel. Goodbye and God bless.